Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Let's go, shall we? Uh, David Mitchell is just one of my favorite British people in general uh, that I've learned of since reacting to British videos. I gotta say, he's just hilarious and I love him. I would never claim to have your range as an actor, David. <laughs> <laughs> Do posh and repressed or repressed and posh? <laughs> I once got so drunk, I whipped out my laptop, thought, what the hell, and ordered myself a Latin phrase book. <laughs> Please, too. What sort of, but a Latin phrase book feels like quite an unusual thing. When would you use a Latin phrase? It's actually strictly, it's called a Latin primer. Uh, Shut it. But it, it, it is a book of Latin phrases and Latin grammar. But nothing had happened in the previous years where this was a problem. You were fine without your Latin. Well, I had a, you know, very awkward dinner with a centurion, but... You know. <laughs> uh, no, no, it wasn't, it wasn't like... Yeah, I hadn't particularly felt that gap, but I was... Give, give, sort of... give us some of your favourite Latin phrases. I, I can't... I can't you must know one or two, a man of your e learning. E Veni, vidi, vici. Or oh, veni, vidi, wiki. Yes, depending on how you pronounce it. What I does it mean? I yeah. came, Isn't I saw, sword? I conquered. Quad erat demonstrandum. What I have just demo... Isn't the wedi, wiki wiki the, the correct way to say it? Although it sounds ridiculous, but it, it's actually... Right? What does it mean? I yeah. came, I, I saw, saw, I conquered. Quad erat demonstrandum. What I have just demonstrated. Yeah, yeah I went yeah. to a comprehensive. I know yeah. all of these phrases. Yeah. <laughs> is there any mod modern practical phrases like, where is the station? <laughs> no, and if you think about it, you'll know why. <laughs> How did you get on with Latin when you were at school? Well, no, we didn't do Latin, no. You'd need a primer, wouldn't you? You'd yeah. need a phrase. Well, we had loads of that in the shed. Oh, so. <laughs> Tom, what are you thinking? The idea of buying a textbook for a language that is no longer spoken uh, for somebody who works in an environment where that language isn't used, um, which was taught to him at school several years ago, that he had to get drunk to buy is exactly the sort of thing that David Mitchell would do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to say it's true, Lee? Definitely. You think it's true? They all oh. think it's true. No. Right. Oh, it's true. Oh. David. Yeah. Of course it's true. Of uh, <laughs> course. Yes, it's true. David did drunkenly order himself a Latin phrase book. As a child, at my grandpa... Now, that is bold. That... that... ...drunkenly order himself a Latin phrase book. As a child, at my grandparents' house, I had a little bell that I would ring if I wanted anything. <laughs> Butler. Why did you have a bell? Well, there was a bell. It was a pre-existent bell. There was a bell in the house, and I liked it. Mm -hmm. Only at the grandparents' house? Yes. Not at home? Because no. your parents no. didn't play that shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> home, at home, you just sort of went... And... <laughs> so how old were you? About six. What were the things you wanted when you rang the bell? More chips. <laughs> uh, An espresso. A glass of orange squash. <laughs> Sense of purpose in life. <laughs> was it both grandmother and grandfather that would come and wait on you hand and foot, or was it just one or the other? Uh, I was a small child. I was sort of <laughs> was I was indulged to a certain extent, but then also to a certain extent there was. Can you actually just stop ringing your bell now? <laughs> okay. So, please, team. What what do you think? Yeah. The parents could easily have had a bell, and the little brat could have just. <laughs> yeah. 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 I like the bell. <laughs> It's going to be so funny if all five of these turn out to be true. Liked ringing the bell. He liked ringing the bell. Is it true or is it a lie? <laughs> Reginald, delicious hunter. <laughs> um, well, sausage roll, I believe that... <laughs> I believe that there's a simplicity to the story that uh, rings true. I'll go with that. Go on, then. We'll say that that's true. You're saying it's true. David, is it true or is it a lie? Well, it is, in fact, true. <laughs> <laughs> Of course. <laughs> yes. Yes, it's true. As a child, David's grandparents' house did have a little bell that he would ring if he wanted anything. Ding-a-ling. Ah, uh, could I have a posher upbringing, please? <laughs> it, it begs the question, what, what, 
what was going on in that house, you know, a century ago that, that warranted the bell. He, um, that's, that's a remarkable impression, because it has the advantage of also sounding quite a lot like Ken Livingston. I thought that was a good one. You're absolutely right. As yeah. I did it, I thought, this isn't the best David Mitchell I've ever done. Right. If it was going to be one of the good David Mitchells, yeah. it'd be a bit more like this. I don't know why anybody would think I would do that. Why would they think that? <laughs> and I'll tell you another thing. <laughs> Around here, there, um, or actually where I, where I grew up, there were sometimes houses that, were, that looked extra old. They were usually pretty large. And they'd always have these little, like, secret rooms in them and whatnot. And we'd always kind of think about what they were used for. That, that, that was a much more interesting story in my head. And it probably wasn't. <laughs> officers once cut his head off and searched him for smuggled goods. <laughs> can we see? Can, is there proof? Yes, see. As you is, can there see. Any, is there any way of telling? There's some stitching there. Oh, just just and tilt the, his oh, chin up as we can see the stitching. Yeah, Not too look. much, and it'll upset him. Mm. <laughs> All right. Can we have a look at the burr? Yes. Yeah, we'll see the stitches. Yeah. Throw him test. over it violently. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you got to test it and see if they just misled you. <laughs> Yeah. He's seen worse. Oh, you can't okay. throw the beer. Uh, That'd be a shame. No, throw the beer. Oh, sorry, I, I meant you to pass it to Rob. I've now like <laughs> made you do the whole journey. Like, <laughs> take the beer over there, please, Lorraine. <laughs> it's in my contract. I, I never need. I never leave the desk. <laughs> David, just look. Okay. Right. I, I didn't. That was making you feel. <laughs> it's true. Despair tablecloth. Yes, uh, because when I was very little, he had a little jacket made out of a tablecloth. <laughs> so if, they... this is, if this turns out to be a lie, you yeah. are a shameless little light entertainer. <laughs> Coming from you, Lee, <laughs> that is a compliment. <laughs> Where are we going from or to? Or? Uh, we were going back from Menorca. What did they say they were looking for? I imagine it was a sort of a spot check. Did you see them carving <laughs> the head off? Was it happening in front of you on the table? No, on the, no I'm they... glad to say I was shielded from that moment. <laughs> David, I'm going off this story. It'd be so funny if you said, it's a lie. It was actually my first sexual experience. And then they're all like, ah! Sorry. <gasps> okay, that was just in my head. You, this is heartless bastard. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, tablecloth. I am oh, not projecting you? that I had my first experience with a stuffed animal, but it might have also happened. I'm joking. Yeah, Smash his face Give me the bear. Oh, uh, I'm taking the bear into care. <laughs> care bear. Oh, you're about to do an appeal. Sure. <laughs> Why they didn't check the arms and legs? Yeah. I, I don't know. I should have asked them to. <laughs> <laughs> I should have said, Did call that thorough. <laughs> What's that? I've done that this thing? Thing? Yeah. What's that you oh. say? You say it's time for Lee's team to take a guess. <laughs> um, <laughs> what do you think? Maybe he's in denial, and the truth is he, as an adult, was searched for drugs, yeah. and he's so traumatised by what they did to him. Yeah. He's had to create a teddy bear and put it all onto him. Yeah. Show us on the teddy bear what yeah. they did yeah. to the customer. Yeah. <laughs> Show us on the teddy bear where they shoved their fist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, that, that's why the bear's hands are like that. <laughs> OK. Uh, we can say lie, are we, soon? I think so. Lie. I think okay. so. Lie. I think I can argue lie. Lie. OK, lie. David. If it is a lie, I'll be impressed that he went through the effort of deception of putting on the fake stitches. Well, it is a lie. <laughs> yes, it's a lie. David's teddy bear didn't have his head cut off by customs officers as they searched for smuggled goods. Uh, David. To keep now that I think about it, that's ridiculous. But actually, 
maybe it's not ridiculous because that's where you'd think it would be ridiculous to check. And so if you were a drug smuggler, you would put it in there. Never mind, that makes sense. Things exciting at home. Every time I fill our tin with normal tea bags, I slip in one Earl Grey, knowing it could surprise me at any time. Is this, uh, is this a British thing? Oh, it's fe An Earl Grey? A tin with normal tea bags, I slip in one Earl Grey, knowing it could surprise me at any time. <laughs> Oh, it's for oh, your no, own please. interest, not for the surprise of your wife. <laughs> well, it could. I mean, she she could be surprised by it also. Do you put a normal tea bag in with the old grey and let it brew, or, or is it in no, the... No, no, it's, it's in the tin of so tea bags. In the tin. What's okay. Fill the tin of tea bags with normal tea bags, but with one Earl Grey tea bag in the mix. Give it a little bit of a... <laughs> this is David's version of there an adrenaline sport. <laughs> For the flavour. Oh. It's for the surprise element. Does that's it? Yeah. I'm, that's, I'm, I'm also, oh, it's as dull as it sounds. <laughs> <laughs> what you've got to remember is I'm a quite an uninteresting person and I've been doing this program since 2006. <laughs> so, you know, th this is all we've got now. <laughs> now the question is, is when you yeah. sip it and it's Earl Grey, yeah. is it a pleasant surprise or damn? Because you obviously it's, don't like it, otherwise no, you could drink it. No, absolutely. Do you know what I think overall, and I'm sorry to make this even more boring than it is already, <laughs> but overall... Is it Yeah. <laughs> overall, it is a neutral experience, because <laughs> I don't like the Earl Grey tea as much, and yet the surprise element brings it up to the same level as a normal cup of tea. OK, me and Mitchell... Mitchell. Me and David Mitchell are very much alike, okay? And yet that the makes surprise sense. element brings it up to the same level as a normal cup of tea. <laughs> 80 bags. Box of Earl Grey. You could probably work it out, Lee. Is that 80 weeks that you'll have to have that box of Earl Grey? How many cups of tea drink a day? Oh, I mean loads. F five to eight. So, five to eight. so he's five getting eight. through a box of tea bags every ten yeah. days. Every ten yeah. days. Takes oh. a long time to get through a box of Earl Grey. Although sometimes... The Earl Grey's, hang on, the Earl Grey's almost three years old. <laughs> 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 By the time you've got to the last Earl yeah. Grey. <laughs> Depending on how lucky you are, or unlucky, if you get it. But, I was going to say something. And I'm pausing during a comedy video. And, and Holy no, when, when you oh that, when you get asked, you're interested now, aren't you? For sheer age of you. I'm interested because old, David. Because at the end, when you put your last Earl Grey in yeah. and that box is empty, yeah. where most normal people would then go, that's probably enough. Yeah. You'll go, I think I'll go again. <laughs> <laughs> a new three year cycle. Yeah. It's, it's a three year thing, commitment each thing, time. The thing you have to remember sometimes people come round to the house and if you could believe that, you'll believe anything. Yeah. And, <laughs> but they don't ever leave. And <laughs> ask for Earl Grey. Yeah, oh, And now. then oh, I'm hello. willing, I'm just willing to take one from the Earl Grey yeah, box. but what if you've run out and it was your final one in the thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> It's, it's never happened. Oh. Obviously, what a frantic and exciting scene. <laughs> you said you're welcome to an Earl yeah. Grey, yeah. but you may you have, have to... You find it! You have to to find it! it. You to to <laughs> to find it. <laughs> no, you're not going to! <laughs> They're tied to the radiator in the cellar. Let's just go! <laughs> OK, time to decide. Lee, what are you going to say? I, I believe David is capable of doing this. He mm. needs that little <laughs> thrill. You, little... Know, you know I need excitement in my life. You need excitement, but, but this is a lot of... It's not exciting. It, it... <laughs> You're saying it's a lie. Yeah, yeah. Uh, David. Uh, it was, in fact, a lie. Oh. Oh. <laughs> OK. Okay. Awesome. Great. Love it. Hope you guys are doing well. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Shh, crap.